Welcome back. In the previous section, we completed the schematic design for our first simple project in KiCad. So now we are going to switch over to the layout editor and work on the layout. I'm going to start the layout editor from the schematic editor window. It's just this button right here. Just click on that and that will bring up eventually the layout editor or otherwise known as PCB new. And here is the layout editor. Now what we're going to do in the next few lectures in this section is to continue where we left off in the previous section. The last thing we did was to add some comments to the schematic. And now we're going to continue here in the PCB layout workflow with the first of being the setup. We'll continue with the outlining constraints, footprints, etc. until the layout is ready to export and send it to the manufacturer. So in this first lecture of the new section, we are going to do the setup. Just a short interruption to let you know that this video is part of my comprehensive KiCad course that will teach you every aspect of creating printed circuit boards with KiCad from scratch. Go to the course page to learn more about it if you want. Find the link to the course page in the description below and treat yourself with a discount coupon for my YouTube viewers. Okay, let's continue with the video. All right, so here we are in the PCB editor. I'm going to utilize all of the available space just to make work more comfortable. And the first thing that I'll do is to import the footprints from the schematic. Remember that we did the associations. So each of the schematic symbols have an associated footprint. You can see those footprints. What I'm about to do next is to import those footprints into the layout editor. Let's go back to the layout editor and I'm going to click on this button right here to bring in the parts or the footprints. So update PCB and here are the footprints. Just close and I'll drop them right here. So here's a battery cell. I double clicked on it so the <laughs> footprint properties came up. So here's a battery cell. Here is the LED. Here is the switch and the resistor. Just undo because I only picked on the text label. So there are the items. An interesting to see to, to notice here is when I put these windows side by side, when I click on one of the items in one schematic, the item, the corresponding item on the other editor, or whether it is schematic or layout editor, also gets highlighted. So that way you can just uh, use those two windows side by side to be able to navigate schematic and layout editors at the same time. Okay, let's go back to the layout editor and concentrate here now. I just want to show you a few things before we get started with the actual design stage, just to become a bit more familiar with the editor itself. The first thing to do is to open up the appearance sidebar here on the right side, because this allows us to configure the way that the editor works and actually how it looks and also what it is that we can click on and not click on. So you can see at the top we've got the appearance pane, which has the layers, objects and nets tabs. With the layers, we can simply click on one of those layers that are available and that activates the actual layer and then we can start working on it. So for example, if I want to draw tracks on the front copper layer, I select it, the little triangle here indicates that this is a selected layer and I can start drawing on it. You can see it's red. If I want to draw on the back copper layer, then I can select the back copper layer, take the track tool and then start drawing and I know that it's the back layer both because it's indicated in the layers tab and also because the color of the track that I'm laying is blue. You can do the same thing with everything else here, like all of these layers are selectable. So for example, I can click on the edge cuts layer, select one of these drawing tools, such as the rectangle, draw a frame around the components that I want to enclose in a PCB and use these handles to resize and eventually what I have is the outline of my PCB. Of course what we're going to design is going to look a little bit better than this. So I'm just going to undo, make it disappear. I'm also going to delete those tracks here as well. 
Another interesting thing which I find very useful is the selection filter down here. You noticed earlier that I wanted to select the resistor in order to move it, but instead I clicked on the text R1 and that got selected and I accidentally I moved that instead of the entire resistor. So what you can do here to make clicking and selecting easier is to enable inside the selection filter the item type that you want to be able to select. For example, if I only want to be able to select footprints with a click, I can have everything unselected except for footprints. And now whenever I click inside the footprint, no matter if it is a pad or a text item or uh, the footprint itself, it gets selected and then I can move it. If I want to be able to select text only, then I can click on the text selection filter item and then move text around because it's the only thing that is actually getting selected. So these are just our usability uh, and efficiency tips. If you go to objects, you can see we don't have any trucks right now or vias, but we do have pads. You can use these sliders to make things visible, invisible or slightly visible. We can enable and disable items as you can see so all these things make it easier to work with especially cluttered designs and layouts all right so i don't want this lecture to drag for too long because it is the first lecture so i'll keep it short i have already imported the footprints from the schematic design and the only other thing that i want to do before moving to the next lecture is to bring up the page settings and just like we did with the schematic design editor sheet I want to add some information about this project so let's, let's make this revision one this is going to be LED torch tech explorations for the company yeah which is my name in there as well so fill the details as you see fit and click on OK and there's that information down here all right so we're done with this first step we're going to continue next with the outline and the geometrical constraints <laughs>